so you were so you were about 30 when uh when this happened and you decided to make a change after being um in in addiction for 12 years um and then and by the way in case i didn't properly introduce jules um jules is now known as natural health expert um juicing expert raw foods expert you've seen her on tv um you've seen her all over um all over but basically what i want to know is how did you get from because by i i've been through something similar i was big into uh partying and everything like that but maybe not on the same level but how did you get from that darkness to to now where you are how did you find the information that now that you follow uh you guys man like um you guys out there putting the information out every day um so uh this did i'll I'm just an open book here and I do it because I want people to hear my words and say, oh man, that sounds just like me. And if she can do it, I can do it. So I really let my heart um, open up. But basically I met Nina's father, the father of my first child, not my partner now. And uh, during that time, I went looking for someone to save me and fix my life right I wouldn't didn't look inside because I couldn't face myself um so I decided that I'll just you know I'll find a guy to save me and so I started to look seek out um somebody you know obviously I attracted an energy that was very well I attracted an energy that was very domineering controlling and um not that he's a bad guy but the the energy that you attract when you're at your breaking point your weakest point is not you know always healthy so, relationships so like you were a damsel in distress and then there was you were looking for like a knight in shining armor yeah yep and so here he came and um, I'm in I'm in this space of the worst time of my life and I can't control myself. I can't control myself. Rehab's great and all, but it's usually 30 days and then you got to control yourself. And I couldn't be alone. How much misery would it be to not be able to be alone? You know, it, I know it was terrible because I couldn't I had to be I lived with roommates. Okay, because you didn't trust yourself. Is that why? Because I didn't want to die. You know, okay. I didn't. So my roommates, I'd always choose kind of like responsible roommates that weren't into drugs or drinking like I was. And then, you know, I figured they, they'd they notice if I died. You know, they'd, <laughs> they'd tell someone and check on me. Um, but I put in those barriers. But yeah, I just wasn't looking inward. I was looking outward. I need, I need an answer. I can't do this. And I found Nina's father and he was the most like, he was very incredible to me. He had um, so much going on. He had a kombucha brewery, a big, giant, 12,000 square foot kombucha brewery in Miami. And he was what I thought was successful. And he was um, doing these business deals. He was brave. He was um, bold, confident. A lot of characteristics I wanted to be. So I thought I'm going to hang around this person and just like kind of watch them and be with this person. Um, and that led me to raw veganism because he had a tattoo that said vegan and his license plate, um, his license plate said no veal. And he was a diehard vegan and I was vegetarian by default vegetarian since like birth really because wow. i just didn't like meat it was so chewy and i just be sitting there chewing it and like as soon as someone told me that you don't have to eat meat to be alive like i really thought i had to eat the for the food pyramid to be alive or i would die like that's what my that's what my parents taught me and that's what they knew so I, as soon as I found out that I didn't have to eat meat and there was the word vegetarian in my life around 21, I heard it and I just instantly said, oh, thank God, I'm not ever going to eat meat again. 
and I'm not going to drink milk anymore. But I kept eating tons of cheese. Okay. I was very addicted. Yeah, that's that's not not a good thing to eat. <laughs> um, got it. So you you had already been that, but then you saw, and how how did you feel about the vegan at that time? Or oh, I really I thought it was like the way fairies eat. You know, like beautiful magical beings eat this way, and I was like. That sounds so attractive and appealing to me um, and obviously superior. I just knew that somehow. I was like, that sounds superior, but I'm not there yet. Like I, you know, I'm, I was an addict, you know, so I was at extreme, I had zero self-discipline and I was like, if I want a beer, when I wake up, I'm gonna have a beer when I wake up. If I want to a shot of whiskey when I wake up, I'll have that too, because I get to do whatever I want to do. And that was my motto. So I had to really work on the mind. Um, and so Danny, Nina's father, he, he said, uh, you want to be vegan? And I started telling him my goals. Like, I want to get sober. That was my first goal. So then he helped me do that. We did that um, pretty quickly. And uh, he was with me every second. And he was very... Like, I mean, he was omnipotous, you know, like just everywhere. So I couldn't do things that um, I could not eat. If I ate cheese, he would leave me at the restaurant, you know, and be like disgusted. I'm like, I can't believe you did that. And I would just be embarrassed, like standing there. So slowly over time, it worked. And I stopped and I went vegan. And... It, the you know I'm not saying it was the best way to do it obviously it wasn't but I leaned on this person and he pretty much forced me into it and I wanted to do it at my in my heart he was like a, a disciplinarian yeah yeah he was like the parent I never had you know because my dad really wasn't present or like giving me like he just wasn't really present um too much and so it was nice to have someone you know to like I was looking for someone to take care of me and teach me how to take care of myself and uh that's how my journey started okay so 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 then then what happened because at that point now you're eating vegan are you vegan. eating vegan, uh processed foods cooked foods and kind of regular stuff like that yeah, I love to say vegan is not healthy. Everyone's always like associating me with veganism. And they're like, well, I was eating vegan and I got and I stayed sick. And I'm like, well, you know, I have no idea what eating vegan means because you can pretty much still eat infinite amounts of products, food products, um, and still be very sick. So yeah, that was just the beginning there. Um, and I realized that Danny had this stronghold over me that I could have never have had. I didn't know how to have on myself that I really wanted to have on myself, but I didn't yet. So I leaned on him and I said, hey man, now I wanna go raw vegan because um, I, I just didn't why? feel, why? Did you say why? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, why did you want to go raw vegan? So I was sober at this point, no pharmaceutical drugs anymore, no alcohol, and I was vegan, and I was shocked that veganism actually made me feel better. I was still drinking. No, 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 I wasn't drinking. Sorry. I'm trying to think it out. It was seven years ago. Uh, yeah, I dropped the alcohol and the pills and then I was yeah just shocked that I actually felt better as a vegan and that inspired me to go deeper because I didn't feel as good as I wanted to 